Hello, I'm Ken Oxley, the Deputy Editor of the Sunday Sun, and I'm here with Karina Ford, our Chief Reporter. We're going to take a regular look at the weekly newspapers from around the region, and we're going to start with a story which we're pretty familiar with already, Karina, because we've covered this story. Yes, Mick and June Duddy of uh, Belfast, who are standing firm and they're going to carry on feeding biscuits to the birds. Good on them. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. This is a story about a couple who um, decided, to f decided to feed the birds. The council aren't too happy about it. Nope. And they've um, ordered them to stop, which is a bit ridiculous. Yes, just a little bit. But uh, um, they have supporters all over the world now, so I hear. I've spoken to Mick this week, and uh, the story has literally gone everywhere, despite everyone's covered it. So I don't think the council would have a leg to stand on if they tried to take them to the court now. Absolutely. Let's, so, hope, let's yeah. hope the council back down on that yeah, one. Yeah, I think they will. And moving on, uh, we're now going to look at the, the Hexham Courant. Great story in Hexham Crant about how traders, market yeah. traders, have been told to keep quiet and stop shouting. Yeah, office workers nearby don't like the noise that they're making just by hawking their wares, and so they've been told they can only shout on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. That it's like saying newspaper sellers will just have to say, Hello, would you like to buy a copy of our paper, please? Just whisper, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yes, what would happen to Ronnie Gill? I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another good story in the Courant, isn't there? Um, about UFOs, apparently someone spotted a, a strange disc-like object in the sky. Yeah, Jane Wilson, she saw a long black disc-shaped object that was rising and falling in the sky. I was wondering, it might have actually been a frisbee, but according to uh, <laughs> Newcastle Airport, I think they have some kind of radar equipment, uh, and they have no explanations for it at all. So it's, it is a UFO. Do you know, what I, do you know what I think it was? Go on then. I, I think it was a stray kite from the Whitley Bay Kite <laughs> Festival. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have a, a large purple floating teddy bear in Whitley Bear <laughs> on the front page, so it could be something like yeah, that. Yeah, could have been that. In the dark, yeah, definitely was. Someone's cut the strings. <laughs> anyway, moving on <coughs> again. Um, Barrett Advertiser. This is a, a good story with interesting implications. Everyone's familiar with the Holy Island Causeway. Mm. And this is a story about how a Spanish couple got trapped because they didn't realise what the causeway was and the fact that the tide can come in so quickly. Right. And there's a call by the council to have foreign language signs. Mm. Good point, really. Mm, absolutely. Um, I just wonder how many languages they will have to have this, uh, this sign yeah. made in. I mean, when you consider the, the nations that come round here, it's probably, the sign's going to have to be as long as the causeway itself. You know? <laughs> Well, yes. yeah, the, uh, the, 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 you can see why they would need to come up with some sort of plan, though, because yeah. that could be incredibly dangerous for someone who's not aware that that, that causeway is, 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 is flooded most of the time. Yeah, yeah. No, it's about or time. Or 50% of the time. Good story. It should have been done before. Definitely. Indeed, yeah. And finally, we'll end on Chili Man. Uh, Chili Man is in the Darlington Stockton Times. He is uh, a chap who's invented the world's hottest chilli, but apparently even he can't taste it. No, just trying to make the thing nearly landed him in, in hospital. <laughs> he was chopping up uh, pods. Um, I don't know what kind of pods they are, actually. Um, probably staying here somewhere. Um, but he's been chopping up these pods, wearing gloves, which must have had a hole in them, and left him in agony for five hours. Which so, begs a question, what's the point? Yeah, exactly, but... <laughs> There you go. Each their own. Indeed. <laughs> okay, that wraps it up. Um, if you've got a comment on any stories in the Sun to Sun or you want to comment about these stories, please um, go to the forums at the top of the web page and click on that and you can use the, the links there. Also, you can contact us by going on scoop.sundaysun at ncjmedia.co.uk. That's our email. And you can call our news desk on 0191 201 6201.